Welcome back to the Dividend Diplomats YouTube channel, guys. It's Burton Lanny, your boys. You guys know us by now. Why? Because you're subscribing to this channel. You're watching us talk about dividend stocks, stocks we're buying, stocks we're watching, dividend purchases, you name it. We got it. And today we're actually going to talk about four different stocks I'm watching right now this month in October as the market dropped 5% in September. It's continuing to drop here on October. I'm buying and looking at these four dividend growth stocks. Before we jump into it, though, make sure you subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. We are pumped up to continue bringing you information, news about dividend stocks, what we're watching, what we're buying, and even the stocks that we just want to research and may not be buying. That's what it's all about. We live, eat, sleep, dividend investing. That's the name oh. of the Oh, it's true. Oh, it's damn true, guys. And so, this is what it's about. These are the best times of being a dividend investor. So when you get excited, I mean, the last year has been fun. It's always been fun. But it's always the market, when the market's coming down, you have dividend kings like Pepsi, like we talked about yesterday, that are just showing um, signs of it falling. You have many great stocks, some great names that you're finally like, yes, I'm ready to start looking at these companies. I am ready to start buying. You're right, Lanny. This is when it's a good time to be excited, buckle up, and move some of that cash that's been sitting on the sidelines into the market. Yeah. And the way you stay ready and stay prepared is having that dividend stock watch list. We talk about a lot of stocks on this channel, a lot of stocks that we are watching by using the Dividend Diplomat Stock Screener, which is focused on the price to earnings, the payout ratio dividend growth, and then we do look at dividend yield to make sure it complements the dividend growth, aka we're not buying a 2% dividend growth with a 1% or 2% dividend yield because your compounding dividend factor just isn't strong there. So we always, always have dividend stocks ready. We try to have money, aka the capital ready to buy the stocks when they meet those price targets. And Bert, I've got four here that I'm, I've am i been really salivating over now do you own the four companies that we're going to talk about or are any of them new positions that's a really good question so you know the last few years obviously and you know bert's in the same boat i'm trying not to buy new positions trying to add to current positions because i'm a buy and hold investor i already own over 60 plus different stock positions so my goal is not to buy new stock positions so i like to add to the current stocks that i do own you know, love the businesses that I own and try to always refine to make sure that I do continue to love the businesses that I own. So, Bert, what do you, how do you want to do this? Should we just get right into some of these stocks? Sure. Yeah. Let's talk through them. We'll just rip through them. We'll have some fun. And everybody throughout this conversation, let us know your thoughts on each one of these companies as we're going through them. Are you watching them or are you watching a competitor or a completely different stock? We're pumped up to hear that feedback. Yeah, and again, we're, we're um, recording this video October 5th, so the stock market was down today despite the Green Day we had. Uh, no no dookie reference there from Green Day uh, yesterday, October 4th, but the market's down again October 5th, but some other stocks really got beat up, really, in the, the consumer goods space, um, as you probably saw in Saturday's video. If you haven't, take a look. Pepsi coming at you. Um, the first stock we'll talk about is a stock that actually we own in my wife's account. And it's a stock that actually we just talked about, I think a week or two ago, because of the up to $6 billion acquisition of Hostess Brands or Twinkie or TWNK for the ticker symbol. We're talking about Smuckers, Bert. Smuckers ticker symbol is SJM for Smuckers. Yeah, it's a great stock. I'm pumped up this one's on your list. We own it in my wife's account. I sold a couple extra hanging chairs that I had in mine, but we still have a massive position for Smuckers in there. And that company has been starting to retreat down, um, retreat back off of some of the highs it had. And it was with a lot of the hostess. And we get why they did the hostess acquisition. They wanted to complement the peanut butter, One of the, most the jelly, the coffee. They wanted that snack, the thing that people just want to grab, eat, maybe not worry about how healthy it is. They just want to have something that's going to satisfy that, scratch that itch. That's why they have hostess. They're growing the portfolio. And Lanny, what is your strategy here with Smuckers, though, as you're going through this? No, I think that's a good point, guys. I and mean, we're not going to get into like the traditional dividend metrics. We'll talk a few items. You know, again, Smuckers over 20 years, 22 years of dividend growth, pretty decent growth rate. Um, they actually now yield at about 3.64%. Um, 
but we actually did buy a share earlier this week when it crossed just under the $120 per share threshold. Um, but guys, they're trading actually at right now $116.54. So each ratchet down by about 3% from the last purchase price, I'll still nibble a share if I can. So I'm looking at around 116 to 11650 here for the next purchase of one share. So I think I'm might grab a, if it's still at this price, you know, I might grab another share. Beautiful. I think it's a great strategy. I always had in my mind Smuckers. Um, Smuckers, the yield is at 3%. That was always like my mental hurdle I have. And here we are. We're back there again. So it's easy to see why the company is, is back on your watch list. Let's go through number two here. Are we staying in the food sector, Lanny? What what route are we going here with the second company? You know, food, maybe consumer beverage. You know, again, it kind of relates to, yeah, Bert's big video on Pepsi that we put out on Saturday. We're going to talk about Coke. We're talking about the Warren Buffett stock, KO. Um, you know, again, we actually featured this stock as well, I believe, a few weeks mm -hmm. ago. And, hey, they're a dividend king, right? 60 plus years of dividend growth. And the yeah. wild part was they've always recently yielded higher than Pepsi. But, Bert, what are they looking like right now? They are closing in on $50 per share at the moment. They have come tumbling down. They're just over $52 per share. And as a result, that yield has jumped up over 3.5%. Another big milestone for Pepsi. Like we talked about the milestone for Coke with them getting over 3%. This sector just continues to face pressure because of inflation, because of people seeing how expensive Coke and how expensive Pepsi are getting and the impact that's going to have. Ultimately, putting downward pressure, but it's creating a great opportunity for you, Lanny. So what is your thought process here as you analyze Coke and you go through it on your watch list? Yeah, of course. And again, this is another stock in my wife's account. So we'll actually talk about two in hers and two in mine. Um, as we build out, yeah, this Coke position. You know, it's funny because I had initial target pro, uh, of target price of about fifty two fifty. So uh, we actually ended up buying, I believe, um, as I'm actually just double checking mm -hmm. the uh, her brokerage account today. We bought one share at fifty two fifty today. So we had the limit order set, the limit order, the price triggered, order happened. So we were able to grab a share. Might even grab another share if it's still at or below the fifty two fifty price. Um, you know, again, like it under this price point just because of the yield and the growth, plus the iconic history that Coke has. And I've always felt Coke tastes better than Pepsi. You're not wrong there. So let's move into dividend stock number three. Um, look out your window while you're watching this. Um, look out your window throughout the day. Chances are you're going to see the this company's trucks just come zipping by at least multiple times. Maybe they're even delivering a package to you right now. Who is this third stock on your list, Lanny? Bert, I know you own them too. I've been trying my butt off to get to the 100 shares at the rice right price. Um, and guys, they're trading at about 153 right now. We're talking about United Parcel Services. Ticker symbol is UPS, the brown truck. Um, they're actually going through an acquisition. They're acquiring um, another logistics company here. Um, obviously, they had the big labor union deal. Hopefully, that's starting to get behind them. Um, prices obviously plummeted since that deal has been made by quite a bit. Um, so right now, my price point for UPS is around 150 a share. I'm less than five shares away from owning 100 shares of UPS. Um, but they get closer to that 4.3% yield at the 150 mark. So really not too far to go, Bert. Beautiful. I love it. I know you are so close, Landy, and that's the beauty of it. And like that's the like that's why times like these are so much fun when the prices come down and you are just so close to hitting that threshold. This gives you the opportunity to help just kind of punch it over the goal line where you don't feel like you're reaching to do it, but it's just at a reasonable stock price. So easy to see why UPS is on this watch list. What are your thoughts on UPS B? Yeah, it's again. I honestly have no, I, I can't disagree with any point you've made. There's no reason to really add any more because it's just looking great with the current metrics and the current price and the current yield. It's just, I agree. I, I very much agree. Uh, pre appreciate the feedback there. What do you guys think about 
UPS stock? Have you guys stayed away since the labor union deal? Let us know below. Um, but this for a time one, to get on the fourth stock, right? Yeah, this one's probably the surprise one here because it, it was for me until I read the name and then I'm not surprised at all why this is the company because this is a quality quality dividend stock. They're almost a dividend king. They've almost, they're almost going to have increased that dividend for 50 plus years. And the beauty of this company, they are very heavily involved in your everyday life. You just don't see it. What company are we talking about? Guys, we're not talking about Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, any of these big hitter names. But we're talking about food and what's being used to make and produce your food. Um, we did feature this on, I think, one of the lists on who are the almost dividend king list, as Bert mentioned. Archer, Daniels, Midland, ticker symbol is ADM. Um, they're trading, I think it's at like 73 and change right now. My price point's around $70 a share because that's going to be around 2.5% yield. They are down over 5% in the last month, so the stock is coming down. But this is one of those... You know, you don't want to like accidental higher yielding companies like two and a half percent doesn't sound like a lot. But when you have a strong, solid growth rate, you take it. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it's a company where a two and a half percent yield might just be a rarity at the current price, because that's what it has been over the last few years, because the company has taken off. Getting a chance to grab Archer Daniels below 70 is a great, great price right now based on the metrics and a great addi potential addition to your portfolio. Again, I have nothing really more to add about why. I love the company. I own them too. So I'm an advocate for this company. Yeah. I mean, the last increase was 12 and a half percent this year during these high inflationary times. So being able to do that during this time period is yeah. pretty awesome. So yeah. And they are, such an, they are such an instrumental part of the food chain these days, too. And you can't just replace Archer, Archer Daniel, Daniels Midland if you're a food manufacturer. And that's what makes this company so great. Okay. So when you think about it, one dividend king on the list, one soon-to-be dividend king on the list, and pretty much two soon-to-be dividend aristocrats are on this list with UPS and Smuckers. So guys, that's what I'm watching right now. Smuckers, Coke. UPS Archer Daniels stock price points, you know, probably more in the 116, 11650 range for Smuckers. Now that I got the one share under 120, 5250 for Coke, grabbed a share already under that price point, looking to do another. UPS at 150, Archer Daniels at 70. Those are my price points. What are your price points? Do you guys yeah. like these stocks? And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And Lanny, what do we have to tell all these fools out there? You are either with us or you are against us, Jack. That was Bert and Lanny from the DD. Over and out.